Hey there, y'all. Um, by a twist of fate, I actually have a copy of the book that I'm about to talk about to give away for free. This is Tendralopolis by Vince Radic, put out by Coronasamas.press, a Slovene press. Um, I have a copy here, not inscribed, brand new, unread. I haven't, I didn't read this copy. And if you do, you know, watch the, the, the review. And if you like it, send me an email. It's on the about page of my uh, YouTube channel. And I will send one your way. Uh, thank you. Share booktube, Noah. Everyone who reads and must converse is the channel. Thanks for coming back by. Today I'm going to share with you a quick review and share my thoughts a little bit about an, <laughs> a, a little exceptional um, book, very little, called Tendralopolis. This is a very dirty book. <laughs> if you uh, if you're a fan of the of the you know French dirty book or you know some uh, you know it's 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 not it's not comparable it's it's a unique experience for sure uh, Anais Nin uh, does not hold a candle to what is in uh, in here but you know obviously from a more modern writer uh, Vinsa Radic is the pseudonym for the author. This is written by a female um, Serbian, a Serbian female that uh, really had some some cool stuff to say. So what it's a, what it's about, just to give you a quick little bit, a it's 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 set up as letters, correspondence between two females. One is an ex lover of a, a man named Rado and Rado has left his first lover her name's Branca L leaves Branca for another woman her name is Margaret they are you know in in Europe so a whole nother city a whole nother country and Rado stays with Margaret a couple of months leaves her for another female <laughs> question mark and weeks later uh, shows up dead from drowning in a lake or river so first uh, letter is Branca the first uh, lover writing a letter to Margaret talking about what has happened, why it's happened, wanting some information and coming on pretty strong with the with the questions but also a little bit of let's put the past behind us. Uh Rado's dead. It's obvious what what had happened to me was going to happen with you. Habits a habit was formed with him leaving me. And so it's no a surprise there and we're just gonna I, I want to move on but maybe we can have a friendship we have a connection we have something in common with Rado right Rado had always had a fear of drowning and it is ironic and a little telling maybe that that's why or how he met his end these letters I'm that's that's it for the plot the letters are what drive this thing and they start off very much you know you, you kind of ease you into a correspondence between these two females who are not friends but not exactly enemies either but that is unclear right when it comes down to it it is very hardcore there is more than meets the eye to this little book the the correspondence turns into a kind of banter, very hardcore banter between these women. And it's unclear at first as to what they're getting at. Are they really wanting to, you know, meet up and, and have and, and start some kind of relationship? Or is it um, kind of like a smokescreen 
for something deeper that's being asked or wanting to be uh wanting the other one to tell and that's just how it is but they see they they are very uh very well understood by their writing style you know if anybody who goes through letters of authors and you know collections of letters you get a real good sense of people by how they write letters because it is a it is a fairly deep medium even if just you're writing a letter about your life and asking questions and and concerns all that kind of stuff comes up and with a letter that kind of thing is fleshed out well so it is it is a pretty cool idea and how it's delivered i would say that this is something that it is an illustrated work so it's funny it it's funny <laughs> for sure there is some crazy um images and and things that happen in here and you just are not ready for what is said i wasn't ready okay because this is a real glimpse for a guy into the mind and or or the language that that a female might uh, use that you don't hear <laughs> right <laughs> you don't hear that and I was uh, I was definitely enjoyed myself with it and I think I think anybody else would too it's it's very unique and like I said more than meets the eye so I'll give you a little bit this is the second letter this is uh, the first response from Margaret to Branca it says, Branca, so soon? Hard to respond as this is the first time I'm up from the carpet today. Wine pairs too well with wine. Hag me, hate me, but don't mock me. For you spit on the town drunk and it's not a good look on you, my darling. Our shared corpse, yes, my, but my lost love, my Rado, whom you never knew. Whose memory you tarnish, whose Lazarus your Lilith could not raise, no matter the length of her pink wings. Do you know him so little? For that bull, lust was not found in the soft sloppiness of the clam, nor the suffocating weight of my charms, but in the lashing of the Leviathan's tail, to cower in fear like the calf between the lion beneath the lioness. So, you see, the language is on point. These letters are worked out by these uh, females that are writing it. And also, there is a lot of subtext going on. The reader, as a reader, you enter into this and have to kind of figure out where the lies are, where the manipulation is, because there's obviously lies and manipulation going. Things don't add up between the two uh, females and how they characterize and see Rado. Um, there is definitely some depth to this small book. It's like, 70 or 80 pages and it's a fun it's a fun read and definitely gets to a place where you're like um enjoying yourself for having read it and there's enough to mull over um i'll leave it there thank you very much and uh let me know if you have read it let me know if you uh <laughs> if you're down for it and i'll catch you on the next one book too catch you later bye bye